Alrighty, just a quick update of the camp. Here's the fire pit over here. We got a nice fire going. There's a bear bag station, even though there's no bears out here. Here's Phil's tent setup. That's my, um, I let him borrow my Tech Sport camouflage two-man trail tent. May do a review on this later. But that's an inside shot of it, and he has a tarp draped up over it. And then, of course, I've got my setup over there that you guys have seen a million times. All right, and Phil is over here. <clears throat> what you doing, Phil? Filleting a fish. So All right, well, that's the update for now. All righty. We are... Cheese. Cheese. Cooking. We have two fillets on tin foil that I got out of my survival kit. Came in handy for once. Here's the other one. Ooh, it's bubbling. Looking good, dude. Holy some, crap. Got some garlic and Mrs. Dash on it. So hopefully in a few minutes we'll get back to you guys and see if it's good or not. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and film this while we still have a little bit of daylight. But we took a little chunk out of my fish, and Phil and I both had a piece, and we have to say, it was delicious. <laughs> pretty, what do you think? Pretty awesome. You can barely see. Not gonna but, lie. Yeah, it's not fishy at all. I um, thought it'd be a lot more fishy, or I thought it would not be flavorful, and the Mrs. Dash mm -hmm. helped. It sets it off. Yeah. Sweet. It's good stuff. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Caught, killed, cooked. All natural. That's how we do it. He's just sitting there. And there's enough headlights between us that it looks like daytime. <laughs> move. <laughs> he doesn't want to move. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he fell and died. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was it. That was that the was, end. Was Wait, shh. Down? Listen. No, it's, they're in there. How did they get in there? They're tiny. Yeah, they come yeah they're the really bottom. tiny. What kind of bats are they? Oh, you they're, little, they're like fruit bats and stuff. Yeah, they're yeah. Just fruit bats. Yeah, I've seen like. Oh, there goes one. Yeah, there's a ton of them. I am. You see him in the video? <laughs> dude, yes. Badass. Oh, oh dude, around? just don't poop yeah. in my mouth. Do you see the Adrian? Come here. I, I saw it last time we were here. Oh, dude, just got foreheaded. Was it like yeah, a bird turd? Or no, it was like an actual turd. bat turd. I got foreheaded by the bat. That's creepy. Do it again. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Hi. sir! Levi, what you making? I'm making a thing so I can cook my a spatula so I can cook what? my corned beef hash. Is this your corned beef hash over here? Yes, it is. Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much only eat foods that come out in the shape of the container that they came in. It's the leaning tower of corned beef hash. It's one of the seven wonders. So cooking cooking corned beef hash here and um, adding a little little sriracha makes makes everything better, makes everything delicious. It didn't retain its beautiful shape that we thought it would. No. Still still smells good. Still smells good. Camp food feeling bland? Has pour some sriracha on it. Sriracha, the official hot sauce of the Florida Adventurers. And it's good on pizza, on tuna. And on your mom. Uh, John, what is this called? I don't know. A weevil. A you, plus for Adrian. Are you videotaping? Look at that nose, dude. Look at his face. It looks like an owl, kind of. With minus the uh, the trunk. I found him on my toe. Was he sucking it? Oh, he, oh, he can fly. <laughs> no, he oh fly my far, God, he can fly. That's scary as shit. <laughs> this whole time he could have had us. Didn't uh, fly very far though. Uh, he's walking towards my finger. I don't think he can hurt you with that so pro buff because. <laughs> Day two, Florida Adventures at Alderman's Ford Park. And we are down here at the river. Phil's trying his hand at fishing again. Hopefully, he can catch us some dinners like he did yesterday. Good job, Phil. Yay. All right. And then Mike and Matt are going to be getting into the water. I'm going to stay up here and watch everything happen. And then Levi is way over there somewhere. So here we are on the mighty, I don't know, what river is this? Alfaya. This is the Alfaya? Yeah. I don't know. I came all the way out here. I don't know things. I don't know, I don't know things. So what's Levi doing? Levi. Hey Levi. All right, so basically I tied the opposite corners together so it lays down 
like that sorta so it lays down like that but in the water it does better and then the fish swim over it and then I use the stick to lift it and they all get stuck in there nice I've caught a bunch but they've all been tiny like smaller than my hook tiny so they really haven't been we'll keep at it so uh, John has a little tear in his shoe, so he's using his kit. Actually, this is Levi's kit. He's using Levi's kit. It was my fault for buying really cheap Walmart, uh, what are they called? Water shoes. Water shoes. And it ripped right down the side here. So I found Levi's sewing kit, and there was a big gash there, so I just started sewing it up. Just a good example of uh, why you should keep a sewing kit in your pack. Alright. Uh, I made this little... Let me turn the mic. Made a little uh, not a curve frog gig every, there. Every second of the Catch some small things, <laughs> maybe some bait with this. And then Phil is currently using a cockroach that John found as bait. His shoe swell so bad. And then Matt and Mike are just chilling. Uh, um, this is a knot that I cut off of a tree using a hatchet. Not very gracefully. I'm going to turn this into a cup by putting hot coals in the middle and letting it, the coals burn their way through until it hollows <coughs> out. Very nice. Mm -hmm. We'll catch up with you later. Yep. And I'm over here working on, I scraped a bunch of pine <laughs> resin off of a tree and Levi gave me one of his knots so I'm going to hollow that out. Alright, so I got my torch burning. I plugged up the little hole underneath with the stake that I made. So now it's a little torch coming out of the ground. You can see the pine resin burning pretty well. Women, right? Right? And Levi has started his uh. Do you blame me for everything that happened? No, I don't. His coal. Just... This is an update on the progress of Levi's bowl. Pretty intense. Oh, no. Alright, so I'm showing Phil how to use the magnesium block with the ferrocium rod on it. So basically what he's doing now is he's shaving the magnesium onto this leaf. That should be okay, yeah. Just take your knife now and just gently scrape it into a pile. Are you saving the bottle? No. Okay. Okay, that oh, yeah. should be okay. Good little right, pile, like pile of magnesium. Just like that. Yum. Okay, now remember the technique I told you. Okay. Now what you want to do, get this as close as possible here. Mm -hmm. So that way, as soon as it catches, it's going to ignite. And No, no, no. Use this end. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yep. Don't want to dull your knife. Yeah. Okay. Pull, remember, pull it yeah, back. Pull this back. Yep. And once you see it going, immediately, as soon as it starts sparking, put that on. Just like that, Holy crap. and that's when you get your your uh, kindling and stuff, and you put it on there. Check that out. So Phil, just made fire with the magnesium block. Just made fire. <laughs> nice, Wilson. Pretty easy, huh? I've made fire. Congrats. In front of my tent. That was actually pretty good for your first try. That was pretty good for my first try. I'm I'm pretty good my first time. Is what I'm told. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always my first time. Hi, right, this is Phil from the Florida Adventures Club. It's night two and the laughing owl has come out if you listen you might be able to hear it listen <laughs> you hear it you hear it Thanks. that one sounded close I think I think they're mating. It's so weird.